hello everyone welcome again welcome in my new video of service now so today we will learn about the sla so what is the basically sla sla is the service level agreement and it is very much of useful in service now I means i think you have already seen in service request under the service request under the task under the incident we have some kind of sls p1 sla p2 sla p3 sla this kind of sla and why this sla is useful so it is the time frame means within a time frame we have to provide those um, services to the customer that's kind of this, this kind of sls we have to attach under the service request and then we can complete our work within that time frame and customers also satisfy with this okay so that's why we are creating the sla and uh, it is uh, what then what is the definition of sla it is the contract between customer and service provider and uh, what uh, it is allows defining SLA criteria such as table, duration, schedule, conditions. It is uh, triggering to the SLA. Um, means you ca we can see in the service now instance. I'll show you that tables means how we are defining the SLAs. And it is providing the services, uh, time bound, commitment, qualities, penalties, terms and conditions. Means uh, they, it is providing services. Means if we are, we have SLA under the service request, and uh, for example, we have one requirement, and under this uh, under that uh, service request, uh, you can see one SLA. And within that SLA means complete in before completion of that SLA means what uh, whatever that time frame we have to complete our work and provide all the services to the customer. Okay, and if we have some types of the SLA, so it is uh means we have SLA uh, three types of SLA which is SLA, OLA, UC, SLA means service level agreement which is contract between the customer and service provider and OLA is the agreements between different, different IT teams within an organization means what how many organization we can see in the B between those organization if we are putting any SLA thus SLA kind of the OLA okay and then uh, you see underpinning contracts contract with, uh, contract with the third party third party means some of the vendor uh, means vendor is providing some information so we are using this kind of sla so let's see uh, on the instance uh, see this is my de personal developer instance and we can see the sla you can see sla definition under the uh, sla definition uh, service level management uh, we can see sla definition and, and so this is the table for the SLA definition. We can create SLA for any kind of table. You can see this is the name column of name of SLA is in types, target, duration, table, and then so many columns we have here. And then uh, I'll create one SLA. Okay. I'll show you the SLA means SLA form where we are creating the SLA here we have to provide our SLA name so I'll create SLA for access item means for the access item we have one maintain item name called access so I'll create one SLA for the access item and uh, my type should be the SLA because this is for the item which is the service provided to the customer so we are a provi service provider or any kind of team is the service provider and just we uh, this is the relation between customer and service provider so that is the sla type is sla okay and the target is a we have two kind of tar two types of target response and resolution then what is the response response is whenever the ticket ticket is assigned to our team and we have to assign this ticket and we have act something on that ticket means for example we have to, we, are, we get one incident we get one request uh, on our team then we have to assign those tickets and it should be uh, response to uh, sla should be stopped this kind of uh, activities we are doing within uh, using the response SLA and then resolution SLA. Resolution SLA means uh, we have to resolve our issues uh, then we are using the resolution SLA. So uh, you can see the type is incident uh, sorry table is incident but we are creating for the um, task table. So we have to create a task table here and you can see flow default flow we have made some kind of flows here but uh, we are using 
this uh, default SLA flow and you can see in your instance ki we have some of the flows how it is working how the means as how uh, as which percentage we are getting some uh, notifications like that you can see means of the 50% of SLA if the SLA is getting 50% or 75% then we will get some uh, notification from service now so that kind of flow you have to see in our flow instance and then duration i'll provide two days of duration and schedule you can see um schedule here and in this schedule you can see so many kind of schedule we are we have uh, also uh, as per our uh, means if we ha we don't have any uh, schedule here we can create new schedule as per our requirement okay but uh, if we have some kind of schedule we can use here 24 by 7 is uh, for the is service desk team which are working for the 24 by 7 we are uh, we are using 24 by 7 means whole week we are uh, we don't have any stop here then 8 to 5 week 8 to 5 weekdays okay this may this is also using for the weekdays and it is also weekdays but it is excluding the holidays and uh, holidays means uh, holidays okay the, so 8 to 5 weekdays means uh, only weekdays uh, monday to friday and saturday sunday is excluding this we are taking the 8 to 5 weekdays okay and time zone we can see here so many kind of time zones we have but we are taking taking colors time zone okay because right and then um uh, this start condition we can set up a start condition state is one of we can see start condition we have this many uh, states then we have to start our sla when the state is open uh, work in progress okay and then uh, you can see here uh, retroactive start button is here if we uh, click here so retroactive start and pause the means which when it, it should be the start when the when new sl is created or when new sl is uh, means this sl is updated then we can uh, use this retroactive start what is the meaning of retroactive start retroactive start is for example we have p1 p2 p3 uh, incidents uh, or uh, SLAs and uh, for example uh, yes, for example yesterday uh, some user raised one incident P1 incident or P1 request and then SLA is automatically getting attaching as a P1 okay and then P1 SLA uh, means our half of the uh, solution is resolved by the service provider then um, we uh, user is decreasing those priority as a P2 then P1 SLA is getting stopped, but P2 SLA is started, right? It is not starting from the zero. It is starting from the as P1 SLA's percentage. It is calculating P1 SLA percentage and then P2 is, is in the P2. It is calculating P1 SLA percentage. This is the retroactive start. And when to cancel, it should be never um, canceling the SLA uh, because we are putting our condition. So we don't need any um, uh, cancel condition here and then state is pending when we are putting our state is in pending th it should be the pulse or sla and in the start condition i forget to put our um item name because uh, we have to restrict our uh, sla for only access item we have so many kind of ex uh, items so then uh, just we have to select here access this is the item name and also you can put assignment group uh, anything on the SLA table or uh, SLA form you can select okay as per your requirement then stop condition when uh, should be the stop state is one of um, close complete incomplete skip then we, we our SLA should be skipped uh, sorry uh, stop and in reset condition uh, we don't need to put any um, conditions because uh, this uh, you can see all those conditions we already put here and just you have to save this and uh, yeah RSL is created you can see uh, here type here maintain item and you can create just uh, one RITM for access item you can see this is the item name of our and type order now. See, 
our task is been created you can see under the task sl has been attached and sla for access item you can see our name of sl access sla for access item okay and now stage is in progress why because our state is open and if we are putting our state is on work in progress it should be work in progress only but if we are putting our state is pending and if we are updating on the task uh, provided please validate and pending and save it you can see your stage is paused right so this kind of means sl how sl is working you have to you got the idea and all those things i cleared in this uh, whole the video also if you want just change your state as a close complete uh, because our work is completed then just save this and you can see our sl should be complete right the stage is completed like this sla is only working and it is very useful uh, for sla because within a time frame your work is complete so this um, sla is very useful thank you so much uh, for this in let me know uh, which kind of video which kind of information you want for, uh, for the service now we will create those videos and uh, just let me know in if you have any questions about the sla in service now or in interview kind of, means i'll try to provide all those information which i have and thank you so much again